Hello everyone, we're gonna cover the quarterfinals of the Quack Cup number three. So the theme in this Quack Cup is mixed bass fog. And now usually, or all the time, fog maps never have mixed bass. But because this is Quack and Quacky Cups are Quacky and they're experimental, they decided to throw in mixed bass with fog. So there have been a lot of very quacky and funny maps during this tournament. And so we have now the top eight that have made it to the quarterfinals in a single elimination stage, of course. Our eight players are going to be Shiu, Nonova, Stealth Spectrum 22, Tier 5, Mobliv, Randomoys, Kill Me First, and Mippin. So, let's go ahead and look at the first match and look at the map. So what do we have here? We have three bases per player, right? So if we are yellow right here, I'm gonna change the colors. So I'm gonna change this to the penguins. Where are you? There you go. So if we are yellow, uh, yellow Comet, we have one base over here in this corner with a port. We have this base right, this base right here, which this infantry is going to go capture. And then we have this base over here in this corner. So there's three bases and they're all alone. And maybe you haven't noticed, but there's no airport in this map. Yeah, so there's no airport. So just three bases all alone separated. There is one comm tower per player, it seems like. There's one lab per player, which has a black boat on it. And then there's an extra black boat here sitting on the city, which I guess kind of like uh, delays this this base from getting it. And, and or you can also get it off and maybe ship some infantry over here, or some mechs, or maybe send it over here, maybe block, uh, I don't know, some somehow here. Uh, I have no idea. We'll have to see how the players decide to use this black boat. And so I think it's a, it's it's a definitely a, a reasonable uh, choice to go for just here. The, the fact that there's no airport. The only you know you're still gonna have the the drawback that her infantry are gonna hit less, and so it's gonna be tricky during those infantry fights for sure. Um, but yeah, we have Kill Me First here and the Mipin, and they both decided to go for Jess. So we got a Jess mirror. Let's just go ahead and get right into the match. I have not watched any of these, so this is going to be just a complete surprise for me. So we got Kill Me First in Yellow Comet. Actually decides to move off this black board from this little city. And we got Mipin in the Penguins, the Cobalt Eyes. And is also gonna move off the black boat, but it looks like bringing it over here. So there must be something in these players' minds with with these uh, black boats. Uh, we're gonna go for the city, of course. Uh, we're gonna go for this one. Black boat also is gonna come over here. Probably gonna pick up this infantry. Mipin looks like the same. They're both going for the same city right here as well. Not going for the one in the back. Hmm, let's see, so we're going to load up this infantry and bring it towards like the middle. So this is actually pretty nice, you can start a capture here, here, over here, or over here. So there's a lot of options. Hmm, I would expect, I mean there's a lot of mountains right, yeah, so this is really nice. You just plop uh, an infantry on this mountain and you get vision, but you also you get vision of this base, which is a it's a big deal. So something that has been a, a recurring theme on on this Quack Cup on the other previous maps was that you would have vision over what your opponent was building. So um, pretty much to like counter the fact that you have no vision and that it's mixed base, um, so that you just don't die to a rock paper scissor thing of like oh I'm gonna send the recon here and you have to guess on which base you have to make a tank to defend from it 
you would have vision so as to know what to expect and prevent that kind of stuff from happening where the fate of the match would just pretty much be decided from whether you guessed where they were going to send the recon or not. But in this one there's not a lot of vision, there's just these black bolts, which makes it, I don't know, it's very interesting, very different from these other ones. But there are elements uh, to give vision of the bases. So one is this, the black bolt giving vision over this base. But I also just noticed there's this mountain range right here, which is the same as you can go capture and then you go over here and you get vision of the base. Or this also can go over here and get vision of this base. So you can definitely, like this mountain tile is definitely going to be something to fight over if you want to prioritize having vision over the other person's space. Uh, it doesn't look like you can have vision of this space. Maybe you bring an infantry, you would have to have it on this mountain. So yeah, very unlikely. Uh, so I think it's just these two bases that you would most likely be able to have vision of. So. Uh, Kill me first, actually gonna go for this city. And this recon is moving towards the middle. All these nice little uh, roads and shows makes it so that the recon can move really fast. Mm. I wonder what's the plan with this recon. Maybe I think maybe Kill Me's first idea was to was like, oh, I'm gonna go for this one, so I'm gonna assume that my opponent is also gonna go for this one. So that's why I send my recon here to have vision of it and. Uh, ideally interrupt it because this recon if you send it over here to try to interrupt any of these it's just gonna die to what I was just saying like uh, maybe a tank you know you just don't know where they're gonna make a tank uh, and same over here I think maybe this one you could contest but th this one definitely not and all these three you'd probably not want to contest although this one is in base range as well so I don't know but I think that's what Killing First was trying to, uh, like that that was his plan. Just having a vision of these two cities. The same is actually going to go capture the city. And we're going to make a tank over here for Mipin. And this blackboard is going to refuel because they have very low fuel. <laughs> Something to keep in mind when you have black boats on, on a map. Killing First actually loading up two infantry over here. So we are trying to go more heavily over here. This recon, oh, it didn't have vision. Yeah, it didn't have vision. So it just moves a recon a little bit, gets vision, and actually gets spotted by this infantry. And it is 246. Ooh, it's just out of range of this tank. So, very good. And makes a tank here. Mm, yeah, that's gonna be good to probably defend this capture and also come over here and try to this area. See what Mipin decides to do. I'm gonna get these captures. I'm gonna start this one. Uh, we're gonna bring this tank. We've been definitely very lucky in that uh, they made the tank in this base without knowing of the existence of the recon. And I was like, I was on the recon showed up, and I was like, oh, nice, I had this tank right here. So, but also Mipin is just like, like showing the tank you know it's the the tank is definitely it's just like straight up right in front of the recon uh this might be so that this recon can just come over here and shoot at the infantry and so then you can move it here but also like if you stay out of range of the vision of the recon then you wouldn't be able like you have to like be here and then you can't uh defend your infantry that so you can reach over here and so the recon decides to attack on the forest, you can't reach to defend it. So, I'm gonna assume that's why Mipin did this. Makes sense to me. And uh, we're gonna go for this capture. I wonder, oh, it looks like Mipin as well. I wonder if they're, if they're gonna walk over here to this to get this mountain. Seems like an important tile, it's just one infantry. And you can also see when they're coming. Um, It'd also be very hard to, to dislodge because you'd have to send an artillery, I feel like. Because if you send an infantry, uh, you have to step here, you need vision, um, then you can fight from the forest if you can, but they're on a mountain, so they're gonna win. If you step here, well, you probably not step here, right? You're just gonna step here. 
So yeah, I don't know. It's tricky. Uh, okay, first actually getting these three captures, which seems really important. Here, right in the middle. We're gonna go for another tank. This recon is actually not gonna attack. It's gonna be sent back over here. This recon sadly hasn't gotten any damage yet. It was made in so day six, five, four, three. So it was a day three recon. It hasn't gotten any damage. It's gotten some intel, so it's gotten the information of this tank and the fact that Mivin is not here. Actually, can we first going for the, the these two cities? We got tank, tank. Mm, Mivin. I'm not sure if Mivin didn't have funds last turn. I'm gonna check one second. Oh wow, yeah, the funds weren't enough to make another tank. Okay. Because right now Killing First has two tanks and one recon versus one tank from Mipin, but uh, they'll be able to make two tanks this turn to compensate. So, oh yeah, I, I have forgotten about that. So you can bring this blackboard and yeah, definitely put the infantry there. Yeah, that's really smart. Uh, we're gonna get division over here. Not go for interrupt, go, just gonna go for this capture. Mm, okay. There's definitely a lot of mountains. Like this one seems very important as well. If you could have an inventory and have it sitting in this in, in this mountain, you get vision of a lot, like all of this area. So you can see what stuff is being sent where. Then you got this mountain also kind of defensive. This one over here, a lot of important tiles. This tank gonna sit here. No attacks for now. No one has, there, there hasn't been a single shot fire. Let's see. We got a mech also. A Jess mech by killing first. And just boldly gonna uh, walk into here, into these uh, unexplored uh, beaches or so shoals. And okay, we're gonna get all these captures and drop off this infantry and mech. So gets the vision of this base. It looks, it almost looks like killing first is trying to collapse onto this base. A little bit and we're gonna get those two so it's looking like a very solid income advantage by killing first even now during Mippin's turn uh, it'll only be two captures so we'll have killing first with a 2k income ahead of Mippin and that's gonna be at the end of Mippin's turn so a very big deal definitely something in the in the capture capture phase there I think this might have to do the use of the blackboard into this area by bringing several infantry by killing first. Uh, probably the fact that he didn't refuel the blackboard, he just shifted more infantry and was able to get these three. While Mipin just shifted one and then sent it to refuel and then sent one over here. So just slowing down that that capture game. Um, and that's even that's even after making a day three recon. So. Very interesting. So we got more tanks. And yeah, because there's no airport, we're just going to see tanks. Recons and tanks. That's it. <laughs> and artillery and stuff like that. But no one tires. So tank is going to come in over here. Oof. That, <laughs> that is very funny. So this tank is like, what are you doing? I'm just going to, I'm just going to shoot at this infantry. Only to reveal that there was a mech waiting for just that. <laughs> and then it's like, oh no. So you make another tank to defend from this mech. Uh, tank is gonna sit here and reveal this recon. It is in range of this tank. This is like coming from over here, so trying to reinforce over here. I feel like Mipin knows that it can be first is trying to collapse a little bit in this area. Doesn't want to allow that. And we're gonna artillery, hmm. Okay. Feel like it's gonna be very tricky to to use it because you jo you only have one base and you definitely have like these more joints so you can have more troops around your artillery, but this one is like all alone. But at the same time, because this base has is hasn't been seeing any action. It already has a lot of penguins accumulated, so this actually could do some work. You know, it has 
quite a few of infantry. They'll probably try to fight here, you can position it over here while you capture and protect it. Uh, maybe even like, you know, point at the black boat and threaten a capture or something. So we'll see. Um, so Kingford is not going to go for this to try to contest that mountain. I, I don't think he knows that that uh, Mipin is over here. And we're going to get that mech shot onto that tank. A Jess mech onto a Jess tank. And double mech. And this black boat is almost out of fuel too. So it has 11. It's going to have 10 next turn. It could do like 2, 4, 5. It has five left and it can't refuel. It also can't be repaired by this black boat either. Hmm. So I think this black boat either has to go and refuel or will only be able to have one last trip. Uh, Recon is gonna shoot and we're gonna get the KO and start a capture and probably attack with a tank, I think. Yeah, because all this formation is kind of cutting off these troops over here. And since Killing First had the Recon here, he could see all of these tiles and he knew that there wasn't a tank over here to reinforce this tank just yet. So definitely collapsing over here. Just every base, every single base from Kill Me First is being devoted into this area. This from over here, this tank has been sent over here, this infantry as well, and this base has been sending mechs and infantry. So all three bases onto this one. Uh, well, Mipin is playing more more patiently, uh, definitely more reactively over here, trying to um, gather the forces. It's like, oh no, I'm being attacked, I need to send everything and defend this area. I don't want to lose the space and get overwhelmed. I wouldn't be surprised of seeing a medium tank being built this in this space right here, like this turn. Uh, and this space a little bit more, more chill, more passive, and... You know, also with the fact that there's an artillery. Also, the artillery might might have been because of the of the lack of funds. Uh, I don't know. No, I think I think we've even got a few captures this turn. Yeah, there we go. We got the medium tank right here. I think that's very solid choice because in other scenarios, uh, there have been, there have definitely been other maps in this tournament where you can make a medium tank to defend your one base, but you would be at a lack of vision because as we can see right now from Mipin's vision, um, if these infantry or tanks wouldn't be alive, this medium tank would have no vision whatsoever. And so then it can't shoot at anything. But the fact that there's these mountains makes it very easy for Mipin to just have an infantry sitting here and have enough vision for the medium tank to just go crazy and shoot at stuff. So it's definitely handy. But I think this is very interesting the vision that Mipin has versus the vision that Killing First has. <laughs> Definitely much more vision just from the just from the recon, this image in the mountain, it really adds up. And this one over here. So let's see, Killing First is actually gonna use the black boat in its last trip. <laughs> make here. Probably make here, of course. Uh, get more vision over here. Finally spots that infantry that has been spying on the space all along. Uh, this tiny army might creep onto the space, so uh, also seeing the medium tank with with this mech was a pretty big deal. And so going for this, like okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shift away my tanks because I can't deal with that medium tank right now. Um, also, the fact that he made a tank over here means that there isn't gonna be a medium tank response just yet. And we're gonna go. <laughs> And capture this city. Killifers has no idea that there's a, a force over here, but he should be like he should be uh, like aware or like have the intuition of it because he hasn't seen anything coming out from this base just yet. So there is definitely going to be stuff here. So there you go, more tanks. I, will, I wouldn't be surprised of seeing everything just like front switching over here and trying to crush this stuff right here. Uh, in part, you know, trying to get away from the medium tank. Um, but yeah, so far, we're going to have Mipin, uh, I mean, Killing First with the economic advantage. 
Although maybe we'll get the city in a second. We're gonna get that KO. Get rid of the get rid of the, of the, of the spy. Mm, yeah, we're gonna get that city. So now it's 21 to 19. And the artillery actually kind of backs off a little bit. I think it's just gonna be to protect here. Medium tank is just gonna shoot at a mech. I'm gonna make an artillery, a tank, and just pulling back. Um, uh, I mean, maybe Mipin could have gone here, plant an artillery, but there is definitely a lot, a lot of tanks over here. So, you definitely don't wanna get just overwhelmed by this. It does seem like Kill Me First has the control of the match for sure. Just all the vision has control of the middle. You can see, like, it's it's so, so clear. Like, Killing First has this, like, triangle of forces kind of, like, joined in the middle. And now it's like, okay, where do I go? And you can see Mippin's having, uh, Mippin having the three armies separate. You got this army right here from this base. You got this little army from this base. And you got this army from this base. It's just, like, everything. You got the little square there and the little, you know, the three... Uh, it's a square on a triangle, whatever. Um, so, what is Killing First going to do now? Where, where is he going to? Where is he going to go? Probably not over here. So either here or here. So let's see. We're going to get that mountain for vision. We're going to start a capture very boldly, and actually, it looks like we're going to collapse onto this over here. So I'm going to attack. I'm going to take out some units. Take out some infantry. Just get a bunch of attacks. Take out a tank. Start another capture. Uh, reinforced with this tank, just sent everything, all this infantry, everything, everything that was here in, in all of this area from all three bases is just gonna collapse over here. And we're gonna get a medium tank probably to in part contest this and in part maybe defend from this mysterious force that is coming from the penguins from the south. So here is Mivin's point of view. Uh, Mivin is definitely under pressure. Uh, just getting a lot of shots, uh, a lot of, a lot of value getting taken taken away. This tank can get a shot, but it's gonna die next turn, and there will be no retaliation. So it's looking rough, definitely for Mipin. Uh, this blackboard <laughs> is gonna die <laughs> in a few turns. That's kind of sad. So let's see, Mipin trying to come out from this base. Yeah, we're gonna get that shot, get some vision, uh, spot that. Oh, I guess uh, Mipin can already see it from this uh, mountain. And bring this tattoo to cover this capture. And I guess because of this medium tank, Mibin is going to try to front switch away and try to go for this city instead. Maybe try to join these two armies. These two armies that Mibin has still left and alive. Since all of Killing First forces are up here, we're going to try to join here, try to steal all these cities from Killing First. I'm gonna go double medium tank and another artillery over here. Wow, and base skip too. From the base that is being like heavily, that has been heavily attacked. So, very, very risky. Okay, so going first, it's gonna double down over here, it looks like. Uh, continue that capture, get that one, start this one. We're gonna take out that tank, take out that infantry, start this other capture. Oof, that's three captures already under threat. Oof, that's huge. And we're gonna send this recon to interrupt that capture. Another recon, another medium tank. Uh, and this is like a little infantry spy to try to see what's going on over here. Uh, can we first, this, this might be the very first time that he sees any forces from Mipin. I think, yeah, can we first, it looks like he's gonna try to deny Mippin from trying to join forces over here. He doesn't want to lose control of the middle, so these forces, like this medium tank went slightly down this way, these tanks went over here and here. So, like these did their job of finishing off units and getting these captures. And now to to close out the game is gonna be just to hold the middle and deny Mippin from coming back into the match by joining these arms. So let's see what happens. Take that out, take that out. And Mipin resigns. <laughs> okay, I thought maybe Mipin was gonna give it a try, but it was looking very... It was looking very bad for Mipin. I mean, for sure, maybe 
one could keep trying, but it's totally, it's totally fair to, to resign in, in situations like this. But yeah, there you have it. That's the first match. Interesting. No copters, no antis. Just It's like caustic finale, just tanks, medium tanks, artillery. Um, I think where it went wrong is just... Um, the, the control that Kim first had of the middle was really strong. Um, this early recon and tank, like even here, I think Mivin was was playing very reactive um, and very very defensive, especially in this space. Uh, maybe Mivin felt a little bit under pressure and started sending these tanks and everything to just try to defend, uh, but fell into the trap of getting hit by this by this uh, mech onto this tank and this tank also getting hit without any defense. So, boom. All of a sudden, these two tanks are kind of... And this is a lot of hard, you know, getting a mech shot is really nice. This tank is kind of dead. And it also gives uh, Kimmy First the opportunity to join all of these three armies. Just that one turn, joined everything, and set the, the fate of that match. Now, then it's just like, okay, I have the middle. I already did a lot of damage here. Panic button by medium tank. Just front switch uh, to somewhere else. We're just going to be up here to take out some more units. You know bundle up a big force, destroy a smaller force, take over those cities and then come back to avoid moving from joining armies over here, which that was it, that was the, the end of the game. So very nicely played, GG, well played, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we got the second match. This is gonna be against Mobliv and Random Ways. Mm, I'm gonna change these again. So, we got a different, we got a different serial matchup here. No more Jess. We got Sammy now, and it says Sammy Mirror. Um, I guess Sammy. Maybe what can Sammy do here? Two, four, six, eight. So nothing, nothing strange with the black bolt. But I guess it's just from the use of the infantry, the fact that you're so close. The, the these drop-offs of the infantry and the mechs, we could maybe see that. I I, I could see maybe why would they why, why they would go for for Sammy. Hmm. I think also random ways just went with Sammy because he was going with Sammy for almost every round of all the other previous rounds of this of this uh, cup, and so he just was committed and continued going with the with the Sammy picks, which is fair. So. Let's get right in. We got Mobliv in the yellow comet. I got random ways in the penguins cobalt ice. Uh, both are moving off their black boats. Um, let's see if we see some some drop offs here into these mountains like we saw before. Some mechs, some infantry. Uh, it looks like it looks like they're both doing the same thing. Both going for this more like semi forward city. Uh, both are going to send an infantry towards the middle. Mm. Oh, actually, random is going over here. That's actually pretty nice. Getting vision first over here. Maybe you spot a, a recon or tank. Uh, actually, you know this base because it's so late. It's probably not a good idea to make a vehicle because you, you're going to need at least like three infantry to be made from this base. So it's not super necessary to have this infantry here. You can already assume that they're not gonna make any vehicle until like day I don't know, six or seven from this space. And random ways, it's gonna make a recon here. And the base skips, but has the funds. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if that was like a, a, a timeout or a, like a, an oversight, but what? That's. That's strange. Uh, I'm gonna assume it was a timeout. Um, but yeah, they both went with a day three recon from the same base actually, which makes sense. This this base has all these roads and shoals, uh, ro roads and shoals, so you can just room anywhere. And this, I think this is pretty legit too, because as we were saying, this base is so late. You can send that recon and harass this base. Um, they're gonna have, I mean, fortunately for Mobile, because Random Ways made a recon here, he won't have enough funds to make a tank here. 
I mean, he could double base kit, but... <laughs> oh! Random ways resigns. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think random ways might have uh, timed out here and just resigned. So, that's that. Let's just move on to the next one. So, this is interesting. They already have the colors. That's nice. And they, we got a different CO matchup. We got Jess and we got Sammy. So this is going to be very interesting. We have Stealth Spectrum 22, uh, 22 and Tier 5. Uh, this is the first time that I see this player. So this is going to be very interesting. Let's see what happens. We got Stealth Spectrum with the Penguins and Tier 5 with the yellow comments. So we're gonna go for the city. We're gonna bring the blackboard, of course. Mm. Let's see if we see any any recons. We're gonna see a day three recon. Doesn't look like from at least from Stealth Spectrum. Doesn't look like it. Let's see if Tier Five decide, decides to make a a recon. Make some mech. Okay. So this mech is probably just gonna move here and then get loaded up on the black boat plus an infantry. Probably to come here. We'll see. Infantry is gonna capture here. Uh, tier five actually doing the same thing that killing first had done. Interesting. And we're gonna get a day four recon from Stealth Spectrum. Let's see. Yeah, going for the sea. So the same as killing first. I would assume another infantry over here. Maybe, uh... Oh, oh, double mech, okay. Okay. And just <laughs> another mech. Okay, we're gonna see a lot of mechs from Sami. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be fun. That's that's gonna be nice. Got this infantry here, we got another recon. So, very, very different already. Now we got mechs, mechs, mechs from one side from Sami, and we got double recon from... Maybe triple recon? Triple recon by Jess. <laughs> Beautiful. I, I love this. I love the, the the contrasting and opposite playstyles and openings and strategies. So let's see which one of these wins and how they develop. I mean, Mex here can definitely do some work. Like here, of course, because they have the black boat to just immediately jump into action but even like here because the fronts are so close you know you can definitely have some mechs you can put one here get here this one uh, I mean it takes like two turns or three but still it's not like your other fog maps that are really open and you have no transports and you would just never make a mech oh my god <laughs> just mechs <laughs> just mechs that infantry Oh my god. Let's see if uh, Stealth Spectrum decides to make just two more recons. So this recon is gonna come in, shoot at this infantry for free. Um, and a re uh, I mean, uh, infantry and tank. Okay, we're gonna get a tank. That's fair, that's fair. Let's see. Mech is gonna start a capture here. Uh, and yeah, this image has to move off. It's gonna be protective with this mech, but Stealth Spectrum doesn't know there's some mechs. So let's see if he's gonna he, if he's gonna shoot at this infantry and get then knocked down by these mechs. If you're gonna pop onto that mountain, get some vision, spot at that base. This image actually moving through these through the river to get access to this mountain. Recon is not gonna shoot this infantry. Which it did have vision of, but maybe decided that or was afraid of a tank from this base would reach in one turn. Or or mech too in two turns. And it's actually gonna interrupt this one over here. And very safely too, because uh, he can see the base and knows that there's no that there's no tank built here. Has a lot of vision of the whole center of the map. 
The only thing that is unknown is this forest. You know, maybe there was a tent built and it was put in this in this forest. Uh, but it is what it is. I need that kill there, and this is gonna make it. This is gonna make it awkward. Well, I mean, two five can't really shoot at any of these, so it's whatever. But yeah, they nice the they nice the capture right. So I'm going back. Wait, was it capturing? Yeah, I think it was capturing. So because you can't just shoot at it and leave it at four because it's a Sami capture. Stealth Spectrum had to interrupt his own capture to finish this off so Sammy doesn't get that capture. Uh, we're gonna get this mountain and so we get vision of this base. So T5 has, uh, has actually vision of these two bases. That's like huge. You have now vision of two tanks and we're gonna get this capture attack and place this artillery just in range to protect all this and we got this mech protecting this artillery this infantry is going to boldly start that capture at 7 HP without backup <laughs> um, and we're going to attack that infantry and we're going to drop off Ooh, two more mechs damn that's that's a lot of mechs that's like every, there's a mech on every mountain <laughs> Oh wow, this this, is, this base is getting a little overwhelmed. You got this artillery push and infantry and all these mags. I think Stealth Spectrum could definitely make a medium tank here. I mean, you got the funds, you're gonna have to base skip. I mean, you could join the recons maybe. But we're gonna shoot at that mech and take it out. And again, because you have vision of the base, uh, you know that there's no tank. And that mech had just come out of that forest, so Stealth Spectrum knows exactly every unit that there's here. It's just this artillery and these two infantry. That is it. Plus this one over here. So yeah, very safely brings these two recons and takes out the mech. Very nice. Um, I'm gonna send this recon over here to try to protect. Oh, <laughs> this is like a nightmare. Like just like this, the recon comes in and it's like. What? <laughs> Spots all of these mechs. And then this tank is gonna go shoot at this infantry only to reveal that there was an artillery behind it. Just, you know, just there for this particular reason, just to shoot at a tank. And yes, we're gonna make a medium tank <laughs> because this is way too much. Uh, Black Boy is gonna go refuel, has only seven fuel left, so very good. Shoot at that tank. Mex mm. just moving forward, starting this capture, making a, a little line here, taking this forest as well. Um, taking out that infantry. Again, uh, like taking out these, these units is gonna be crucial for tier five to, to deny Stealth Spectrum from the vision so that this medium tank is blind because remember medium tanks only see one tile and in the other match we were saying that this you know it's easier here because you have these mountains and you can just put out an infantry but tier 5 has control of those mountains so it's going to be tough for its stealth spectrum to have vision but he does have this 3 hp tank which serves it as vision and most importantly this reaker so until these are taken care of, this medium tank is going to be able to shoot at stuff. So we're going to shoot at this mech. Yeah, there we go. Take it out. Make an <laughs> makes another medium tank. Okay. So really investing to deny this this pressure, and I think it's it's pretty okay. I guess there is three mechs which aren't that much of value. It's just nine k. But they're very slow, so these are not going to be able to front sh switch away. They're just, they're, they're just going to sit there or die. And so this is kind of just denying tier 5 from joining these two armies and trying to pressure the space. But this is going to mean that st uh, Stealth Spectrum is going to be very weak everywhere else on the map. So let's see if and how tier 5 is able to deal with that. Uh, I, I think... Whoa, actually I had not looked at the income. So, yeah, it is definitely very winning for Stealth Spectrum. 
It's 24k income versus 15k income. Yeah, I think uh, the only the only thing that Stealth Spectrum has to do is deny any shenanigans here from from Sammy. Like if the, if there was no medium tanks, maybe Sammy could have done I don't know a power and taking out the tank or whatever and just start a capture on the base, something like that. So just denying that from happening is gonna just consolidate the victory. It looks like we're gonna get some shots here. This might be a resign moment, I think. Maybe not. But it's definitely looking very good for Stealth Spectrum. Having the middle, again, joining the armies is super strong. Um, even though Stealth Spectrum is weak, you know, here it doesn't have any tanks or here anything. Uh, he's just like consolidated everything in the middle and then is able to like boom just pounce on everything all these tanks and recons that have harassed on different places are now here in the middle and i would expect they're just gonna collapse here and take out everything we'll see we're gonna double down on this on this guy so it doesn't get that capture and a little follow up there let's see so yeah recon's gonna come over there medium tank's gonna shoot we're gonna take that one out we're gonna bring that recon to get some vision of the forest Use the other medium tank, use the recon. <laughs> this mech has, has been left at six just by mechs. <laughs> um, yeah, just, exactly. Just collapsing everything into here to to take out all of those Sami mechs. Just make sure that nothing, nothing strange happens here. And it's looking very, very strong for, for Stealth Spectrum. And this is actually really annoying because I don't think this can interrupt. I mean, you can hit it. Leave it at 4 or 5, and then Sammy gets the capture, and then the energy dies, and then you get it again. But yeah, well, tier 5 resigns. And that's all for yeah. I think that was definitely very winning for Stealth Spectrum. Wow. So this map ends very quickly, as we've seen so far. <laughs> These matches haven't lost, uh, haven't lasted more than a few, like 10 days or so. Um, actually, when I go back a little bit, I want to see. How was Tier 5 so behind an income? I think the reason why is because of all these mechs. The like over making all these mechs means that you're not getting infantry that would get captures. For example, this could, would have been an infantry that would have been here. I would have started this this capture. I would have gone. These mechs could have been infantry as well, or maybe one infantry, one mech, and like start a capture and defend that capture with one mech. Uh, this mech also. Mm, maybe this one, I'm not sure, let's see, let's give a few turns. Yeah, the fact, like, the fact that T5 wasn't able to get these, this city, I mean... And these as well, Stealth, Stealth Spectrum has these two, and these two as well. And then was able to take over this area, so just like, having control of all of these cities, like, all of these cities just had that massive income and that's it like if you don't have the income to to deal with these medium tanks you're 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 gone you're dead so gg well done by stealth spectrum i think sammy pick was a fun pick but maybe jess was is the way here i don't know maybe sammy can definitely do stuff but just not overdoing the mix at the start let's go to our last match so to close out the quarterfinals, we have Shiu against Nonova. Both very good players. And they both decided to go with Sami. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna leave this the black hole against Yellow Comet. So, let's get right into it. And I think we had another Sami mirror, but it ended by day three was the one with random weights, or in, like day five or something like that. Um, so, we haven't been able to see a Sami mirror get to an actual game, or like a mid game or something like that. So, I'm excited to see what happens here. We're gonna bring this image over here, similar to what Killing First and Tier 5 did here. Probably gonna go for this city. And we're gonna make a day three recon over this corner. I always find it interesting seeing the, the patterns between the players, if they repeat the things that other the other players do as well. And we're gonna get a recon here, here too, day three recon. I mean, just look at that movement, right? I think it's definitely very strong. 
the fact you can send it over here get vision of these tiles where the black boat would be sent to get these captures and you get to interrupt without having a tank just because you're sending it from all the way over here right so like a tank it's gonna take a while or over here and from here no again th there's not gonna be any tanks here until a few turns because this base is so late so definitely i think it's a very good idea to have a recon and be sent to this area and deny the black boat from getting captures i think that might be why um th there might be a reason for sammy here with infantry mech and trying i'm not sure how maybe we drop off two four six seven like try to get a capture wait two four six seven you do infantry mech for example and then you go with the infantry here and the mech here something like that you can get both cities and the mech is covering the infantry maybe something like that but no 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 way it's not gonna go for that is gonna go for these two mountains get vision of the space it looks we're also gonna skip the city, so it looks like you know, no one's gonna try to harass this base a little bit. This this very late base, right? So I think it makes sense. The the more you can collapse on it, the quicker that you know, the quicker you can harass it, the less infantry they're gonna have, and the less they're, they're gonna have these captures like these that are one turn away. So I think this is gonna be very interesting. Shigo is also going to send two infantry over to this area and we're going to get this middle city and this recon actually a bit more conservative here I think it's to get vision of this city does it reach? yeah it does from over here I think it's to get vision of this and this okay and we're making a tank I don't see oh yeah we have a mech over here never mind uh, let's see what Norova does in this area so wow we're going to attack the base no. No way. <laughs> no way. Wow. That is brutal. That's a brutal way to start the match. <laughs> I have no worries. <laughs> wow. Now Noah has been able to steal the base from Shiu. They are not gonna be making any more units from the space. I, I'd be I'd be panicking if I was Shu, and I'd probably just resign as well. That is that is really really bad. So we're gonna take that infantry out. We're gonna bring that recon and sack uh, this infantry to injure these two infantry so they they can't capture that much. So, it was definitely uh, a gamble of a play from Nonova because he is uh, giving away this, all these captures, but you're taking away a base. So I think it is like very, very worth it. And you got this black pole, so you're gonna be able to drop off stuff here. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, that's nice. So you take that out, you start the capture and you block off, you're blocking off this recon from attacking this infantry. And you're also gonna bring these to reinforce. You got the mech, you got the infantry. Oof. Wow, I think this match might be over. <laughs> this this might be like the the shortest quarterfinals video review ever. Um, yeah, that like delayed the capture just a little bit more, but this all this is just gonna prevent the recon. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't show, but I don't think it can reach it's three, six, seven. Yeah, no, nope. You need more units here to take, like, to deal with this and then take, take over this. Um, like you can see that the gamble right in, in the income like she has 16k over 12k i wonder if she was gonna keep fighting because you have all this income lead all these tanks maybe like okay I'm, I'm gonna see if i can do something with all of my all of my army that i still have and the extra income but it's gonna be four bases against two so 
that is gonna be very complicated. No, no one's gonna be able to just sacrifice two units per turn, pretty much. So yep, yeah, there we go. We got the base. We're gonna get the city two. Um, that one too. So now Nanoa actually has a little bit more of an income than Shiyu. And blocking here this infantry. I mean, starting a capture, but also blocking this tile from any tanks. And I think it is over for Shiyu. But let's see. We got a medium tank. We got these two tanks. We're gonna take out that tank, take out that infantry, and attack that infantry, but not really interrupt the capture because it's Sammy. And oh, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe Shio wants to take over this base. This is like screaming medium tank by Nanoa over here, of course. And I think that's probably what Shio was, was seeing. It's like, okay, if this is gonna happen. Then I need to go all in and take out this base because there's no way I can save it. And I know Nonoa is gonna make a medium tank, so I must have one of my own. This is Sammy though, so it's it's gonna do like very little damage. It's gonna be at like six maybe. So it's definitely gonna be hard to take out, but with the overwhelming unit count, you can surround it and then you know you you bring the artillery. Huh. Wow. Well this game might not be over actually. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a bunch of first strikes here with the tanks but there's no more tanks from Nanoa and actually this mech is probably gonna blow up this this tank I mean I would I would assume there's gonna be a medium tank built here if it if there's no medium tank here if it's a tank or something else then she I mean Nanoa's gonna lose this base what is this game okay okay this match just prolonged itself for quite a bunch of turns <laughs> we got ourselves a match <laughs> wow okay yeah because this is a this is an infantry this is gonna get this is gonna be dealt with and she was gonna get that base wow that is crazy boom boom we started a capture insane and now we're gonna blow up that tank and take care of that recon and that tank and all of a sudden Nonoa has no tanks and she has a little of a control of the middle uh, and also has these four while well, Nova doesn't have these so I'm gonna assume that she is gonna want to like really rush like you really want to capture these really fast with these four infantry and just send everything to deny Nova from getting these and get them yourself get that income advantage and yeah just play it from there but this is this is insane we got we got a sort of a normal map now. We got one base, one base, one base. You could say like this is the weak side and the strong side. I'm not sure. They're they're kind of all like equally distanced. I feel like these two are a little bit closer because you can join here, and this one's a little bit further away. Uh, at least this space is it's harder to reinforce over to this space if if this one would uh, ever come under threat. Uh, so we're gonna make an artillery, we're gonna make a mech, and we're just gonna retreat over here, try to get these cities as fast as possible before this medium tank comes charging in. Uh, I think it's interesting also that Shield didn't reveal the medium tank to to Nonoa. Actually, let me check. Yeah, so Nonoa hasn't seen that medium tank. So this was really smart from Shield. Like uh, you send the medium tank here to like. To point at the point at the base last turn, but it's like, oh, okay, I can deal with that with just infantry, and I'm just gonna hide the medium tank in this forest because I want to attack this area right here, and it hasn't been seen, so no, no, what doesn't know that there's a medium tank just there, just on the how do you call it, on the prowl or whatever, like it's there waiting to to pounce, and so no, no, it's not gonna have an answer for the medium tank just yet. So we're gonna get, we're gonna start all these captures, and we're gonna shoot this and the medium tank. Boom! Gets the gets the city tile just in case. Gets the city tile and shoots at this tank. Recon into infantry. Um, Nanoa is 
gonna get this city, which kind of sucks for Shiyu, but oh well. And we're gonna make a new tank here and nothing over here, just base skip. Um, okay, I th think maybe she was thinking about a potential lab race, and that might be what we will be seeing. The fact that they've flipped the bases, and this lab is a little bit in a in a, in a weaker area. Like only the space can re reinforce it. It's like one tank away, and this one is kind of awkward. Like if you don't have control of this area, then you can't reinforce towards there. The fact that there's a medium tank and everything is going to make it really awkward. So Mech, I'm going to take out a tank. We're going to attack that tank. And it looks to me like we're going to see a lab race. What is this game? I love this. <laughs> and we're getting close to victory march for both. <laughs> I think they're both, like, they both have their... Uh, artillery, no, no, has made a rocket to do like two, four, five, and then it does two, four, five. Ah, it's one tile short, so this rocket needs to move two turns. One, two, three, four, five. No, yeah, it can actually move to these planes, and then it's two, four, five. Whoa, okay, so it's one turn, and then it can shoot, and then victory march. Wow, so no, no, could potentially win in two turns. Moves the rocket here, the artillery here. Next turn, victory march, rocket, artillery attack, infantry touches the lab, win. So Shiyu has to do the same. Who will win this race? <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a little plunk, or more like a clink, because it didn't do anything onto the blackboard. Another uh, medium tank hit, which does do some damage. Artillery pointing at it, yep. Yep, we have a lab race, a victory march, Sammy lab race. Oh, and I think Shiu has the advantage because I think Shiu can take this out next turn. And if you can get victory march, then that's it. Shiu wins next turn. So somehow, somehow, for Nonoa to win, what he has to do is you know do this: the position, the artillery, the rocket. Um, Kinda deal with these units so that they don't uh, attack the artillery and rocket, but at the same time, not give charge to Shiu, so that Shiu doesn't get victory march and doesn't get that and, and needs an, an additional turn, and then Onoa can get victory march the next turn. So let's see what happens. So we're gonna move here, get vision, take the forest. Oh, we're gonna sack the tank. Okay, we're gonna delete the black boat. Uh, I'm assuming it's for for charge. Hmm. Oh my god, who's gonna win? I have no idea. I really don't know. This is crazy. Um, so we got rocket and artillery pointing here. So she really just needs to get the victory march. And so Nonoa just like pulls away, just leaves this infantry to kind of be annoying. Oh wow. I mean she was only what like ten thousand away? Something like that? Yeah. Hmm, okay, so it might be harder to get than one would think. Because you can't really sack these tanks onto anything. These are all injured. Attacking these infantry is gonna give you very little charge and same thing here. Oh wow. I think Shiu cannot get victory much this turn. So Oh my god. I, I don't think you can stop Nonoa from winning. Let's see. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna try to attack as many things to get vision and do double time. Just so that the infantry can reach and start the lab capture. And block and block and block. But... Uh, medium tank. 
but she has no idea that there's a rocket <laughs> that moved just one turn and now we're gonna see it victory march I'm gonna call it rocket yep artillery yep and then oh wait it didn't kill it oh wow imagine if Nonoa didn't have a tank and this might be why Shio did the power too for the extra stats, the extra 10 defense for the black boat. Let's see if the tank takes it out. Takes out the tank, I mean the black boat. And... Okay, we're just going for some random captures to have some fun and... See what else we can get. So we're gonna steal that, we're gonna steal that, we're gonna steal that. We're gonna shoot and get the laugh. What a game! I cannot believe that also was the last game that was covered. <laughs> what a perfect, what a perfect ending for this video. That was insane. Uh, I really thought this game was gonna be over. I I didn't know how long the these matches lasted. I mean, actually, th 13 days is not that long. But I really thought it was it was gonna be over when when she lost the base here. But then all of a sudden. No, no, I just like gave the base to Shiu. Uh, I'm not sure if I like out of confidence or what, or maybe not, not thinking that she was gonna have enough here. But all of a sudden, it was looking really good for Shiu and like the medium tank, artillery, near tank, everything onto the lab. But no, no, I was like, mm, no, I know, I know what's gonna happen. I need to, like, it, it's unstoppable, right? Like, it's gonna happen. So I need to do it, but faster. So I'm gonna get this rocket, I, you know, get the artillery, get the rocket. That was, was perfect. And also like the denying the charge, that was that was great. Like just deleting the black boat because the black boat is gonna give Shi like another three thousand something of charge, and like all the other things. Uh, that was that was insane. What a great match. What a great match. I hope you guys liked this. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.